I'm not feeling great today. I'm feeling awful yeah? today. Yeah, I took a plan B like the other day. Just for I, fun or did you get cum- cummed in? <laughs> you got cummed in? By the same man, <laughs> by the same man, one guy. Um, and I did it to myself. I found it laying around at my house and I was like, this could be fun. I'm going to tell him to come and be in the yeah. deep. This. Like I, I pre-planned the plan B. And now today I feel like there's like, I'm like a porcupine is dying inside. Well, yeah, it know. fucks your body up, right? Yeah, no, super. I'm so stupid and impulsive. It just like says so much about me. Damn. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> They're already on it. How? I just saw Kyle and he goes, I go, how are you? He goes, so exhausted. <laughs> Still, it's a, it's been a week. We've been back for a week. Oh my God. You've probably been slaving him away though. Hit me with an intro. Let's just try it for fucking whatever. I don't fucking know. He used to be out on the corner. He was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave us some cuts. Now he's a podcaster. His life will talk Ooh, about it. We're back. It's not an old episode. You didn't click on an old one. I know the hair is different i changed it Your back hair is different it's shorter you cut it i cut it shorter yeah i was gonna oh. go no headphones today to show it off but I'm, i mean slay it's a big slay i needed to feel like my old self again yeah yeah i am um, someone sent me your patreon and you were like tana just i'm not myself when i'm with it or what did you say oh yeah no i went into a whole apology after our trip so this is after we're back from our New York trip. I heard like my the girl who produces my shit was like Jeff's fans are saying he something like I'm done with this shit. I'm done with us. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to talk before we started. I'm fucking pissed off. I yeah, wasn't pissed yeah. at first because I was going through so much shit this past week. I think I'm changing. I ha- I got sick from you. Well, I tr- of course I take a trip with you and I come back sick. How would you get sick from me? You were coughing. When we started the trip, I make the joke that you're sick all the time. I was that close to you? Yeah, you were that close to me. I don't think I was. Some nights you were drunk and you were like this in my face. You were like, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. (laughs) You say you didn't do anything bad. There's nothing else that could have gotten you sick on this trip. No, 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 no. With your mouth. Don't don't start sidetracking because we're going somewhere with this. You didn't do anything. I came back. I was depressed. I had a week in the house sick. I signed up for therapy. That's how bad it was. I go on one trip with you. I have to you get a therapist when I come back. Need, that's good. You need therapy. Mm-hmm. That's you know. I don't. I don't think it's me. I don't think I'm. The, I think you're deflecting and you're projecting and you're gaslighting me. And I came over so excited to see you, and now you're just crushing well, my spirit. And you posted a, a formal apology. Well, I went on Patreon and I had to open up. I vent to them. I get a little more personal on Patreon. I do. I do live. Sell that streams. shit. Sell that shit. No, I, it's not, not even selling. I don't want more people to come in because I want to be personal with them. And if I got way more haters in there, I'm not going to want to open up. Okay. So I get in there. I tell them how I'm feeling. You know, I'm not trying to put on the cool guy act like I do on here on the public ones with you and Mike. But. You know, do you blame I do that. Mike for changing you at all with his role? I've, I've apologized for Mike several times, and that's he's been all around longer than you. No, 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 it was just me acting like the old Miami Jeff back when I had this hair running around, <laughs> you know, doing all types of <laughs> nasty so stuff. But that's not why I'm pissed off. I think we're fucking fighting. What are you surprised about? You think we're fighting? You didn't think this was gonna happen? All the shit that you pulled? I thought you had set it up at one point because when I saw all the tabloids posting about this <laughs> shit, you posted yourself. You forgot this shit happened. I wasn't even mad at first. I was like, whatever. She's just doing her thing. Look at her out there, fucking being a little whatever. This is a good. Do source you see for the what podcast. I said? He's stressed over the beef. I, I just want to let I you know. know. I know. I, I know. called you. I called you right yeah. away. I'm literally. First of all, I'm an inside source. I was I'm dying. A good I was dying. I was in my house dying with the flu. I haven't talked to anybody, and then I. I see this shit i couldn't even i couldn't even stomach it oh my god i saw this i saw mojo and jeff wittick have become really close so it's been surprising for people to see her hanging out with david dober you call me and you and you say i gave you inside information you give me a a heads up you give me a heads up you give me inside information you give me a heads up and then i go on here and i see this thumbnail and it says tana mojo betrays jeff wittick (laughs) And then I click this video and I start watching it. And I'm like, you know what? I am pissed now. I should be pissed and I'm pissed. The internet made me pissed. I got gaslighted. I was out at a party yeah. and David and Zane approached me. And, you know, I'm not you. I, you know, I, I don't take it immediately. What am I going to do? Hit him, you know? Well, you and also didn't get hit by a crane and blamed for it. Publicly I agree to millions. with that. That did not happen to me. And that did happen to you. <laughs> Have you told people that on the flight home, we were on the same flight as David Dobrik? Or no? No, I haven't told anyone that. Oh, ho, ho, people, there's more. Um, so Jeff and I, we were, we went to Staten Island. We went to your family's house. We flew out of the Newark airport at an 11 p.m. flight. 
and it's a random ass flight, shitty ass airport, and we sit down on this plane and we just see <laughs> like Trump, <laughs> our airports every third little country. <laughs> yes, um, and we sit down on this plane and all of a sudden we just see Toddy Smith, uh-huh. and we turn to each other and we're like. <laughs> And Fuck you have Kyle. made it pretty an avid point throughout Fashion Week that you were avoiding seeing him. You know what I mean? Uh, and no, well, I mean, you just didn't want to be in a close proximity. That's awkward. There's a lot going on. Like I don't mind being do... in a in a club and he's on the other side of it, That's but I, I don't mean, want like... him on a vehicle with him closer to the guy controlling <laughs> it than I am. <laughs> That's what I don't want. I, so I, I got a little pissed off. You were yeah. just kind of like, oh, this is fucking some good stuff here. And you made a little, you were vlogging it. I vlogged it. it. It's in my vlog. I'll take it out if you want. Um, but no, It's fine. We're talking about it now. Yeah, I didn't speak to him. I didn't say hi to him at all. I saw Todd on the way to the bathroom and I was like, this is crazy. Todd was like, this is crazy. We land. We're at the baggage claim. You and me are standing on one side. I'm like leaning on your shoulder. We're both mean mugging Dobrik. He's mean mugging us back. Like I'm, I'm. I'm, I'm a wittick at this point. I'm riding he, wasn't, I, he didn't look at me. <laughs> yeah, he, did. he was staring. Was he? He was staring you down. Oh, like some gangster shit? No, like some holy fuck. I felt like he was like, I can't. Like, I just know it, in his head. He was like, I can't believe this is happening. Yeah. And and the bags were taking forever. So it was just 30 minutes of this. I know. It was so awful. But I didn't say anything. And thank you for that bathroom, boys. Get that fucking applause sound effect. But then I see David at this party. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> As shown here. And I don't remember how the conversation started, but it was just like, so do we hate each other? That was really fucking weird. Were you that guys plane drunk? ride. He took a shot with me and we talked about it. He knows where I stand with you. Everything I said to him, I would say to you. And I felt like I had my, I had your back. And I was very much like, Jeff and I are very close friends. And I, I thought that was funny. I said he stressed over the beef. I didn't, maybe not my my brightest decision, but look at this. Now there's drama. You love this shit. Content. No, I don't love I it. Feel like oh, I'm, I'm not sorry. Being no, to upset you. I, don't be sorry. I definitely felt like I handled it in a very authentic and ride or die manner. And I can sleep at night with that. Then you know what? I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I trust you. And let's move past it because I can't make all my beefs your beefs. And all your beefs are not going to be my beefs, you know? But your beef is my beef in that sense. Like, I don't, we don't kick it anymore and shit, mm-hmm. really. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm going to, should I post that? <laughs> Just a hard post, main feed. I want you to be around someone I don't like. I was doing, so, I was posting shit like that, like, like Kanye back when he made the podcast and he like blamed the whole thing on me. Really? I, I was like, fuck this shit. I, but it was mostly like hairline jokes and just bullshit. It, but can you just promise that no one? Who do you? I need. I need. A, I, need <laughs> that I need you to kick it with someone I don't like. Who is I, there? I don't I'll know. do it. Yeah. I'll go out there and make it known that I don't fuck with them. You know. <laughs> I handled things as mature, kind Tana who loves Jeff. And if no, you don't no, no, believe no. me, I believe, I believe you. I believe I've never you. lied to you before. I know. I, I would know. never lie to you. Let me tell you about my week after I got back because we were having a great time. We made great vlogs together. We had a great bonding trip. Thanks. You know, like, I, wow. I did have a lot of fun. Like God. Yeah, I was <laughs> saying. I was saying slay and send it and stuff like that. I was saying all your words and and things like that. But when I came back, I got I got the flu and bronchitis at the same time. It was a crazy cocktail of sickness. I wasn't sick at all. Um, and I could tell the viewers. All right, enough, some, enough some people this. I know that were sick. Yeah, other people got sick. Could, at, were, but it was sick. Certain people, you know. No, I can't mention him. <laughs> Leave it in. Please. It's not about how I got sick or who I got sick from. It's about that I got sick and that I almost died. And I thought I was going <laughs> to die one night. I was seriously like, I was like, this is it. I'm going to fucking die. And I was having hallucinations. And they say that that comes from the flu. I didn't even know the flu was still around. I thought it got fucking it, it got, exonerated. Uh, COVID has all the clout now. I would have ordered you an IV. You know, you could have reached out. I'm there for you. I appreciate it. I'm good now, though. I'm getting I'm like 95%. And are you, we also going to share that prior to New York, and I'm sorry to throw you guys under the bus. I just... He's making me. Um, the, the bathroom, one of the bathroom boys may or may not have had bronchitis. bronchitis. So it could have came from internally in the team. Allegedly. Do you know that people think I'm dating Kyle? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking to Jeff about that. Yeah. Like I posted with my man and all the comments think I'm He's dating Kyle. He's got the Kyle. same tattoo as Kyle. 
the Wait, same dead exact ass? arm tattoo. Yeah, look. But his a is cherry? cherries. Mine, mine are dice. <laughs> Everyone thinks that. I'm but that looks identical. <laughs> it's the same spot and everything. I thought it was Kyle. Like, I still think it's Kyle. Kyle, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's all no, right. No, Jeff thought we were gonna. No, I can't say that actually. Kyle, you're no, done. If you start messing around I with the towel do in here, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. Uh, yeah, a hell of people think that. Like all my comments are like, it's Kyle. Well, let's squash those rumors. It's yeah, not, guys, it's sorry, not a thing. It's not Maybe no. it is. No, nope, so, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> no, no, I'm wrecking her. I literally have a boyfriend. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, so I was I was mid-flu, mid-week, hallucinating. I, I was drenched in sweat. So I go to take off my hoodie. But this wasn't even happening in real life. It was a hallucination. It was a dream of me taking off my sweat-filled hoodie. And it got stuck on my head like this. <laughs> and I was like trying to wiggle out of it to get yeah. out of it. And then I just gave up. I was like, fuck it. I'll just die. I'll just die like this, <laughs> stuck in my hoodie. But then I came back and I never even tried to take it off. It was a dream. <laughs> so if I would have... I would have died from hoodie suffocation. <laughs> that is so embarrassing, Jeff. If you died for that, it'd be really embarrassing, honestly. Um, I'm really sorry all this happened to you. Um, and then not. And I not get that speaking, it's easy to blame me, you know. I, I just you're the only one I spoke to all week because I would check in with you, like, "Hey, I'm still alive." I, like, just catching up on stuff. Are you dying? I was like, "Are you sick? How are you not fucking dying?" I've been chipper. Yeah, Kyle thriving. came by to check on me. I didn't answer the door. He banged on my bedroom. I was fucking like a zombie. Walk over to him. And I got scared. I was like, what the fuck is going on? It was, it was horrible. Did you think he was dead? Yeah, actually. I was going to vlog it. And then, like, I saw <laughs> that. that he's dead. <laughs> and you're like, what's up, guys? And I saw a, a tiny crack. And I see him, like, head back, mouth open. I was, I was like, sleeping oh, like this. shit. Yeah, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> that was rough. And then just after the whole week of not doing anything, I literally had to sleep, stay in bed yeah. for a week straight. And you go crazy when you do nothing. Yeah, I felt like a loser. I felt old. You were sick. Uh-huh. It's okay. I feel like I've lost vision more. Hearing. My hearing's going. <laughs> I got the headphones on full blast today. I really felt Aww. fucking old. I Please went on a hike today. don't go Alan Keller on me. I'll try not to. I was on a hike today. I was walking down where I, I do my runs. And I saw this guy. He had a fucking walking stick, like a blind stick. It felt like you. Yeah, I was like, you know what? It, it humbled me. I was like, it it could be a lot worse. But Aww. then I got closer to him, and it, it wasn't even a walking stick. It was a golf club. <laughs> he was just looking at You're his, on fire right his now. golf club. You're well, on fire. It's been a rough week. I've done nothing but just write notes for podcasts. Really? But this really happened, yeah. Well, this I'm motherfucker. Really sorry. So he was just a rich guy looking at his gl golf club. What do you got going on? You want to talk about Adam Levine? I oh, do. Oh, is that real? Yeah. What are your thoughts? When there's a mistress with... You know, like a young girl, she's the mistress, the man is married. Who's more at fault? Who's at fault? Um, the man. Is she at fault? No, no. it's the man. So the, his mistress posted this TikTok. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, yeah. yeah she, that was a little was that like, was a little like clout chasers that she posted that and she said, "Oh no, it's going to get leaked out, so I'll do it first. That's that's a little Yeah. Fucking. And I think it's also like hitting people with a like i was manipulated like you chose that you chose that you chose to be a mistress and then she comes back on and she's like i was so caught up in la like people have affairs in virginia like i don't understand what la has to do with that like i guess the power dynamic there though does make it obviously a little worse i don't really know what happened with but the whole situation i called him adam levine earlier yeah you should explain I just called him that. no you call them adam levine levine oh. oh i called him adam levine yeah he oh, slid in my dms Vine though in his yeah, name. Saw that on he slid in my dms though he actually I, did yes i went to his instagram and i was like fuck it i want to see this um and i open our messages and it's like you know when someone unsends and it says accept yeah. or decline and then i i tweeted it i didn't think it would like go up and then but, but yes, I did. Like, honestly, what am I fucking saying? Like, yes, I fucking did. But I thought it was funny. And then all these other bitches are coming forward, and all my fucking friends, and like, it's all the same type of bitch. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. What grimy. a ballsy move hitting you up, though. You know, not. I'm not saying that, like, you're not as tight. <laughs> that, no, you're saying, because, like, I talk. You like, talk and you post DMs and shit. Like, yeah. If he I just did a little research. No, sometimes. If it's if there, it's deserving, like Monty Lopez when he's doing that yeah, shit. Yeah, only you, if like, it's post deserving. Stuff. But if he just looked at your, like, did a little bit of research he and goes, like, scrolls down, he's like, oh, fuck. Like, no, fuck, no. no. Like, that, you, you fucked up there for sure, Adam. This is like, going to be a podcast episode yeah. for... 
them. It is crazy, though, that men, like, he literally, like, think about Maroon 5 lyrics. Like, I'll wait in the pouring rain for you. Like, I love, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're writing that music. Oh, so he says that shit in DMs? No, no. I'm just saying you're writing this music about loving your bitch so much that you'll, like, stand out in the rain for her and shit while you're going to name your baby with her after your mistress. That's what the whole video is about. Like, the... He DM'd the mistress and said, I'm going to name my baby with my wife after you. No. Yes. And her name is Sumner. What an awful fucking name, Loki. <laughs> you think it's just a terrible game? No, but it was an ongoing affair and he was like dead serious. Can I? It's a great voice. Why wouldn't you just send voice notes and they disappear? <laughs> <laughs> Why have you done that before? No, but I've seen artists like, do that. Like singers do that. They'll sing little little notes and stuff yeah. and send them over who but just imagine that you like don't fucking stop name dropping <laughs> i didn't do it what did he say they're name dropping all the cool people we hang out with outside what here they he can't say? talk about so you're going camping this weekend with mike maylack and a bunch of whores how do you know <laughs> i know everything and a bunch of whores no it's a guy's trip we're going camping what whores are gonna go camping i heard a german girl was going i don't know anything about that i don't know i didn't organize <laughs> the guest list for camping it's the woods anybody could come what are you doing and that's mike has a german friend you know <laughs> <laughs> that's probably how the German's coming. A German He's cameraman. A German videographer. Oh my god. I love Mike. He is so funny. It's, <laughs> it's the woods. That's not going to stop Mike from fucking having a harem of bitches. He's going to have like a, a tent for the women and a tent for y'all. It's going to be crazy. We're going to get fucking sticks and sh bed sheets and make teepees. I want to go no spend no money. We're going from our lavish vacations. <laughs> to out in the woods Struggle. with nothing. Pay me. 28 degrees out there. That's it's what people want to see. Imagine we vlog that. I do think our next trip in order to balance out New York and how we felt after should be something very wholesome, very wellness, very no sending in sight. Like what was that? You Simple know? Life, the show with Paris Hilton. That's and my favorite <laughs> show of all time. I've always wanted to do that with someone. Let's do that. But you're just going to be fucking good at everything. Yeah, of course. I guess that's uh, kind of a funny dichotomy. I'll wear shirts like this. And, you know, <laughs> go to Kentucky with your wood. sister. Go to what? Kentucky with Jeff's sister. Yeah, my sister has a whole like ranch of horses. It's we could can we that. please go? Yeah, yeah. Please. We could clean the stalls, the stables. We could work real fucking hard labor. That would be the funniest video ever. We and then we ride should the find, horses. That's that's literally beautiful. We should absolutely do it. We should find like a place there to work. Do you remember when the Ace Family back in the day did, did those videos where they were like, "We're gonna have a real job for a day," and they were just like, oh shitting God. on people who made minimum wage, like cooking burgers <laughs> and crying. The fuck is wrong with them? Jesus they're Christ. So, they're... <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite YouTube. YouTube era scandals of all time. Oh the my. more I think so about it. So they've been it. getting scandals for. They're like, we're, we work at Chipotle. Today. I need that clout. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's so and funny. Look, look at what they're doing now. Oh, they had like 200 attendants at that boxing match. It's I didn't think it me could... with Tanacon. I just realized I don't know why I'm shitting on him. Like, I, I have <laughs> shat on Austin McBroom yeah. for running a poor live event. I know. Times. <laughs> You're the first person how, to screw up a live event. How non self aware do you? have to be tana <laughs> tana marie remember tana con like what the actual like i just i can't even i, I was watching that back the other day and i was like i had a poor life event <laughs> like, I just really, I, like, came to this yeah i think i'm done shitting on him too i was mad at first because he didn't pay like all the fighters and shit like that but and it's even now it's yeah karma. now after he had a horrible event financially he lost more <laughs> money and that was supposed to pay off the other one and and then on top of that, he got dropped five times, went to the hospital, brain damage, fucking, I mean, not brain, I don't know, brain, just a concussion. <laughs> not everyone has that. Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he got rocked hard. Yeah. And then he put out the video the next day and he seemed like he was humble. So whatever, mm. let's leave him alone, huh? I think it's time. I'm retiring my McBroom joke era. It's yeah. just funny, honestly. I'm never, I'm not the actual moral police. I'm not. We'll find Ooh. somebody new to bully. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is on the list? Who's on the menu? Guys, comment down below who we should bully. Oh what do we got? <laughs> Adam Levine. Oh my God. Honestly, it's Oscar, a good how the fuck did you find this fuck? so quick? This footage is from five years ago. Look at me with a jockey outfit on. Oh my God, that's you. That's my sister, too. Look at her. That's you. I love your family. I met your family. Yeah, that's true. They're incredible. You didn't meet her, though, my sister. Look yeah. at her go. This is where she does every day. She exercise rides uh, thoroughbred racehorses. Oh my God, this would be so Go fun. faster. I was so scared. Oh, that's, oh, that's Oscar. Oscar now. Take him faster. Oscar was there. 
Yeah. yeah. Oscar's been with Why you for that long. Following? Oscar's, yeah, he's been with me for five years. That's how you know you're a good boss. You know, you're a good uh, <laughs> business owner and friend and just good person when you have a, a crew that's been around <laughs> for so long. <laughs> have you ever actually debated removing a rib so you could just really suck your own cut? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right at your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easier. Easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh is here to make your hectic fall weeknights a little easier and a lot more delicious. They're quick and easy meals, including 20-minute meals, low prep, and easy cleanup options. Take the stress out of meal time with time-saving, no-fuss recipes ready in a snap. Fall is the perfect time to cozy up with some delicious sweets. Get the whole family involved with HelloFresh's limited edition kid-friendly bacon kits. HelloFresh works with your schedule. Plans are flexible and you can change your meal preferences, update your delivery day, and even change your address with just a few taps on the HelloFresh app. It's that time of the year. Stay home. Cook. Or learn to cook with HelloFresh. I am, and I'm loving it. I feel like a, a mature adult now, and it's a great pastime. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring the show. Go to HelloFresh.com slash JeffFM65 and use code JeffFM65 for 65% off plus free shipping. I got robbed. What? I got robbed. Where? In your, your house? Not like outside job robbed, but I caught one of my best friends of five years Stealing a thousand dollars cash from me. Whoa! I know, right? Is it somebody I know? No. Look at this. I sent a text today. You know what? I'm not surprised though with the type of people you hang around with. What do you <laughs> fucking mean? <laughs> like literally, what do you mean? You got like 20 people living in your house for free. No, I don't. You Everyone don't? pays rent. Three okay. people live there. He literally just I, makes this. No, no. Shit I went. Up. I, I went to your house one time. This was back when we did the barbershop episode. I came by for like a party after, mm. and there were so many people there. So I just always have that visual of that's where your house is like all the it time. It was a party. That was a party. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. I was throwing a birthday yeah. party. I feel like you just live like that all the time. No, and even at that time, I had three roommates. Yeah. Yeah, and the same same people. In that situation, I have a tight like inner circle of people that I have known and loved and trusted for years, but apparently not. So I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Look, look at this shit. Wait, Wait. How did you get robbed? I left a thousand dollars cash on the dresser and. Like, my, he came into my house when I was gone in New York, and it was gone. He was the only person there. And I just added up all the dots and the cameras and, like, whatever. And it's like, he factually did it. And, like, you have ca a camera what? in your room? No, but he was the only person there. And, mm -hmm. like, it's there's other shit, like, with my cleaning lady. Like, she was there before and saw it. And then he came. And then she came after when I was there and it was missing. So it was like, no one could have like done it. You know what I mean? Yeah, have you talked to them about it yet? I sent him, a, you know when you make a text so big that you uh, have it to opens open up it? In a I different sent app. this text in Oh today. my God. I wrote this, MLA formatted a text about how mad I am, seven fucking parts, and he didn't respond. What's Very the gist shitty. of that text? Is it just basically you, you're cut off? Yeah, and I he did yeah, a bunch of other me. shitty shit he did. Yeah, and like whatever. Damn, and it's crazy I'd be so I'm scared a, to get that big text from you. I've never sent a text like that for the break, like a breakup even. Where like, do you, do you write that all in the text bubble or do you take oh, yeah. it somewhere else and copy and Just paste this it? Just this noise for 30 the, minutes. What so the serious. fuck? <laughs> How is there no typos and shit in that? There's gotta be. Because I'm a fucking intellect. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, no, it was good. I would be scared to receive that as well. Honestly, I sent it to my group chat today for review. I got like a whole thing. Oh yeah? Yeah. Fuck, that's wild. Yeah. So do you want to go break this fucking guy's hands? I don't know. I know I want to like cry and get therapy. Like I'm sad. I. It's so weird. This TikTok psychic too made this video about how like this month, like I needed to trust my inner circle and someone would reveal themselves and all uh. this shit. And I've been really paranoid and on edge about it, like low key. But that sounds like something and that then, works for anybody. So that works for me fair. too. I was betrayed this week. You know, <laughs> I need to check my inner circle. It's my karma for posting with Dobrik. No, I was really good. I had a great fucking conversation. I love you. No, I know. I I'm kidding. Don't even, let's not even backtrack. Back to this motherfucker <laughs> that fucking took the, the dough and the drugs. You just post up with him. Like uh -huh. your next interview. Yeah. Story is just you my him. boy, we're hitting him tonight. <laughs> Tana again, the bling ring. We're going to yeah. do that. Have we're you gonna... seen that documentary? Yeah. yeah. Did you watch it? Already? I watched the movie. The, a new Netflix documentary came out last night on the bling ring. I stayed up watching it till 6 a.m. No way. It's. And I just said do that it. out of nowhere? Yeah, that's what random. Fuck? You're in touch. Look at you, pop culture king. Wow. Um, you see that, Kyle? Yeah. Fucking come at me, bro. <laughs> I was going to make me. I was going to make the sound of for y'all. It made me want to do it, though, the, watching the bling ring. I was like, fuck, I want to go fucking rob. 
fucking yeah. Trisha Paytas. Fuck. <laughs> but it made me really. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the baby's actually so cute. Slay Malibu Barbie Paytas. Is that what she named the baby? Do you not know that? No, I, I take back my pop culture compliment because how are, are you living under a rock? I don't really look into their stuff. I feel like she's been quiet and been, you know. Has she been good or something? Oh, yeah. no, I saw something. She said Jason and labor or something like that, right? Did she actually? Yeah, I, Bathroom I think Boys, so. please. I've never needed you more. Do you guys know anything? I don't know. Yeah. I saw that I've on Twitter, but I didn't click on it. Or like, I, I don't know. Like, I saw it for a brief second. I need to know. Like, like she has to be knowing that's going to go viral and saying that there's no way in hell. Yeah, I guess she doesn't give a fuck. She'll go viral for anything. Yeah. Because there's some things like right? in labor, like... I don't know. I feel like that would be enough, you know. Like if you're filming that, you need to say your ex's name, and I don't think it was a clout play. I don't. I, don't, I would do that. I, don't. I would clout play my labor. I would clout play my labor for sure. Malibu Barbie Paytas. I actually really like the name. We're gonna do anything here, Jason. <laughs> See, that's the reaction I should have had. Your reaction. I just didn't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to give a fuck to think that's crazy. It's so funny to I see. would break up with them right then and there. I'd be like, you know what? Good luck. I'm out. We're, I'm out. <laughs> you take the gown off. <laughs> <laughs> Moses. I'm, and I'm not even coming at Trisha specifically. I'm saying I would break up with anyone. Trisha, please don't. I love you. Don't. Don't. I, I don't want to be. I don't want this smoke. Maybe she um, was on heavy, uh, heavy drugs and stuff. You know, but, don't you get that shot at epidural or something? Yeah, but that's what's in the back of your head then, no? Do you know that's why I won't get my wisdom teeth out? Because I, and I need to get them out. I'm in pain all the time. And I fight the pain because I'm scared that when I get picked up by someone I know, I'm going to reveal my deepest, darkest secrets to we them. We should pick you up. Ooh. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't give a fuck. I give a fuck. Yeah, but it, it, I wouldn't tell anyone. But there's some things that I just don't. It, the spy it doesn't matter. I have to. I have to know. <laughs> yeah. What did he say? You know, I have the spy glasses. That I, <laughs> like the, the Snapchat I wouldn't tell right anyone. Here. Oh, my God. With Wong. a mirror behind her. <laughs> yeah. Good, Dad. I'm not going to tell anybody this. No, but some things I think I just have to die with. Do you have any secrets? No one knows. Uh, yeah, of course. And Tons. Don't you think you have to die with them? Yeah, I will. Let me do a sponsor because we got a sponsor today, Mudwater. Sell out for me, big cock. Today. <laughs> tell, them, tell them what it is. Mudwater is going to love that setup. That's fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, today's episode is sponsored by Mudwater. Mudwater is a coffee alternative with four adapt... Uh, this is a tough word to say. Adapt... <laughs> Uh, genetic Ad- adapted genetic mushroom i'm just gonna mumble it so we just adapt to genetic adapted yes. genetic mushrooms uh that sound like a with apologetic four, mushroom with four adapted genetic mushrooms and uh you to, bro these words are insane <laughs> can i do it yeah 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 please please here take this. when she helps him read because he can't see and it's not even about seeing right. it's just the words on that i got yeah. the text real big they gave me this thing mud water will send you this in the pack if you if you get the the this uh eye gouging device you hear that now this is to froth, so it's like a nice coffee. It's like a coffee frother. Okay, mud water is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenetic. You're so right. Mud, <laughs> mud water is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs with a fraction of caffeine. Who wrote this? Like the grammar. It's You're doing awful. better than I did. Way better. Mud water is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs with a fraction caffeine as a cup of coffee. You get energy without the anxiety, jitters, or crash of coffee. Each ingredient was added for a purpose. Cacao and chai for a mood and microdose of caffeine. Lion's mane for alertness. Cordyceps for help to support physical performance. Chaga and reishi to support your immune system. Ooh, I turmeric, need that. I need that. Turmeric for soreness and cinnamon for antioxidants. I need all these things. I do get anxiety from coffee and I do have... What's the other stuff? It helps vision. <laughs> <laughs> Lion's mane for alertness. That's good stuff. That's good man stuff right there. Cordyceps for help to support physical performance. I'm drinking it right now. Let me froth it up. It needs a little. Turmeric for soreness. I love the taste of mud water. It is amazing. It does not taste like mud. Favorite ingredient <laughs> is lion's mane. I love lion's mane. It keeps mm. me so alert. I, I mane my lions at home and is eat it every day. I like to drink mouth. it with nut milk and honey. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like that. I like someone to nut in it 
and then I chug it. Mud is a Whole30 approved 100% USD organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and kosher certified product. Mudwater donates monthly to the Berkeley Center for the Science of Psychedelics as Mudwater believes the country is in a mental health epidemic and sees psychedelics Can as fix it. Psychedelics can fix it. They fix my brain. As useful tools for individuals with depression, PTSD, anxiety, and other mental health problems. Go to mudwater.com slash Jeff to support the show and use code Jeff for 15% off. That's mudwater.com slash Jeff and use code Jeff for 15% off. Thank you, Mudwater, for sponsoring the show. We love you, Mudwater. Doesn't I'm, taste like mud. Tastes like water. Oh, are we changing the name? It's not off the meds? I just think that that might be bad for us because of, like, branding. Like, the branding's a bit aggressive. Yeah. It's a bit like drugs, <sighs> right? Yeah. Trying to get away from that. Just drugs, <laughs> vaping, you know? What the fuck is this show now? You know? It's supposed to be health stuff. I should be out. I should be talking about mental health. Do a whole segment on that, you know? That's going to be my next video with you. I think I'm going to like live a week, like like hike and like drink green. Just oh, live yeah. Like you. That sounds like a really funny YouTube video. I love that we're doing the collabs on the on the main channels too because everybody wants you back so badly on YouTube. I'm back. I'm actually back. I have a bunch of videos lined up and I've, I've been saying that. So it's like I nobody hold me accountable actually ever for anything I say. But um, I'm excited. I missed it. Are you going to do a boyfriend reveal? A soft launch? Hard launch? No, I don't think so. No, never? I kind of, maybe not never, but I'm liking not having the internet really involved in my relationship. Yeah, they could ruin it. They could ruin it. And I've always dated publicly. Like every relationship I've ever been in has been really, really, really public. So oh, it's yeah. kinda cool to protect I know. something. I've seen I get a little bored at, like uh, like at times I just wanna be like manic and post it and be crazy and like, you know, but like it's good to be healthy. I'm trying to retrain my brain. I like love toxicity and like this guy is so healthy and like normal and nice and like And when do I get to meet him? Whenever you want. Well uh, <laughs> maybe we do maybe we do like a a double date? Yeah. I got nobody to take with me. Italian. She's in fucking Italy, bro. We'll all go to Italy. Fly her out. You, you want to take him to Italy? Fly her out. <laughs> it's a big commitment, you know? What uh, if she comes here and it's just not the same or we're not in another country and, you know, the language barrier stops being cute and it starts to get annoying? <laughs> <laughs> My phone's always dying because I'm using Google Translate all day. That is kind of crazy. Is it a full language barrier? Like, you guys cannot talk without Google Translate? No, she speaks a little English. It's it's good, but... but you guys are still talking. We're still talking, yeah. It's just difficult. You know, the time zone and then mm -hmm. the language barrier. It's tough. We get, like, a sentence off a day. It's like 98 fiance. Yeah, it's pretty kinda, much. Kinda yeah. Wild. Yeah, it's not even, that like, FaceTime. Even FaceTimes are tough because it's like, what? What? Oh, my Say God. Say that again. That does suck. Oh, you could put that subtitles really on your on your FaceTime now. Yeah, I tried to date someone in Australia once, and it was like, what are you doing? Like, long distance is just, like, so stupid. And that's and then, the other side of the world. That's, like, the yeah. exact opposite. Like, getting it just and getting feelings, like, for someone so far away, I feel like it's, like, I, I could never do it to myself again. It kind of makes it more fun, though, huh? Yeah, I mean, you love a chase. W would that ruin the fun if she's here, then, and we're just in the house? making mud water froth and <laughs> you know i guess you won't ever know until you try have you unpacked water and hello fear? fresh and uh, cooking up <laughs> meals taking a uh, blue smoking dad grass yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's all the spots uh, yeah, like, it's so funny <laughs> have you unpacked your fear of commitment in therapy no i didn't get the therapist yet i just got the session oh, booked i didn't really? get to do it in time it, i wanted like an emergency one you know i needed it i felt like i needed like a 911 phone call and just be like yo man i'm, I'm going <laughs> suicide through suicide hotline yeah what's your emergency <laughs> uh I just went on vacation Don't with tana <laughs> for a week <laughs> okay me. we're transferring you to we're gonna put you on a 50 one fifty hole. um <laughs> i feel like you don't like talking about your emotions or you think it's gonna be a hard journey for you uh, yeah everything's hard in my life my life's way harder than everyone else's I just totally soprano that. Uh, yeah, I am Tony Soprano. I feel like I need to have a family and stuff to really, uh, I don't know, I'm going to have to do it one day. And I, I know times are changing where people don't really stay married and, you know, they don't really have families or kids early. But I think I need that. I think for me to really have a normal life, I need the stress of like waking up to a baby crying, you know? Yeah. <laughs> And I need yeah. to be like a real dad with responsibilities. Because if it's just me and Nerf, yeah. I know it's uncontrollable and I can't contain the piss problem anymore with Nerf. But that's a diff that's a rare case. I'm closer in age to Nerf than Jeff. That's true. <laughs> I found this out the other day and I was like, oh my God, that's yeah. so fucked up. <laughs> I don't know what's like, more, f who it's more fucked up for, you or Nerf. I'm 
or I me. think just nerf. Maybe me. you. Yeah. No, you. Yeah, you have me and nerf. So that's it's a little. That is nerf a little. is half my age. But I think it'll be good when you have a kid. It'll yeah, show you unconditional love and that that's like real for you to feel. I'll get up earlier because I'll, I'll have to take the kid to school, and yeah. then you're not gonna go back to bed after. Well, you that. already have experience in taking. I kids did that to once. School. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did do that one time, but that was. That was a long. I was close to your. I was younger than you when I did that. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. people. People were mad at the the mom. I know. Mom. Of course they were. She's drunk. She's got a. You know. But she was going through a tough time. Her, her husband love, passed. Internet comments are crazy. Like this woman. Like there's no way of finding her, and someone somewhere is pissed at her right now. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because of that podcast, <laughs> like, like misplaced. Who knows anger. if she's even still alive? Yeah, like <laughs> no one can find her. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Like why are you pissed in the comments? The kid's probably forty years old now. That I yeah, took the school. Oh my god, he probably misses you every day. Yeah, like, these Dad. everybody's got an opinion. You know what the funniest shit is? <laughs> when <laughs> what? It's just a funny ass thing to say after talking about this kid with like, why do we always get to dead parents in every episode? Continue. No, I wasn't gonna continue about that. I was gonna say how when like when a UFC fighter misses weight. I know that you don't give a fuck about this stuff. <laughs> no, I love your analogy. It's just funny when like all the people in the comments will talk shit like, oh, you fat fuck, you fucking missed weight when this guy's shredded and yeah. he just like missed the weight cut by a couple pounds. <laughs> but all the fans that are drinking beers and eating fucking chips like, in the, and hot dogs in the stands are like, how the fuck could you miss weight, you fucking yeah. loser? I've never thought about it like that. Yeah. Good. I got people, that analogy. I get that. Yeah. You, you ate. I ate. I thought I ate. He thought he ate. Um, do we have any segments today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Empathy. Empathy. We're just coughing the virus back into it. <laughs> <laughs> Should we hit the weather segment? Yeah. Should we call him? He's like in acting class. Oh, he's in acting class now, our weatherman. He wants to go theatrical route. You iced him one too many times. He was like, I'm sick of this shit. I'm coming for his spot. I mean, I don't even ice him. Steven's the one who's always getting iced. What else is going on in our lives? No, we're going to do the weather segment. We're going to do the weather segment. Oh, we are. He has, he called one in. He shot one on the street and he's going to, oh, yeah, it's for you. I think he, he knew oh, you were right here. This is going to, this is going to scare me. I like when the focus is on you and I'm just scared of I think it's on both of us, but I haven't seen it. Wait, are you being serious? Yeah, where does wind come from? From God. Where does wind come from? Wind, um... Where does wind come from? My ass? <laughs> Out of your ass? All of it? This was a go Wind. Question. Where does wind come from? I don't know. Where That's does beautiful. wind come from? That was beautiful, huh? Out Prince's ass the next time he makes those cutouts on his shorts. Uh, uh, storms. I have no idea. Where does wind come from? The sky. What color's your wind? I don't know. Well, let me check it out. Do a little spin. Make the microphone. You got sparkly motherfucking wind. I got sparkly wind? Didn't learn that. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where wind comes from? Where what it comes from? Wind. Uh, yes. Where does wind come from? Atmospheric pressure changes. <laughs> atmospheric <laughs> pressure changes. Can you explain atmospheric? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, What'd you say? This yeah, guy's a gangster. Pressure changes. There's a there's a woman in studio right now named Tana, and she needs to. Can you can you explain in simple terms what that means? Fuck you. Uh, it's cold, interact at different layers of the atmosphere, and that's what causes wind. Look at us educating the, the world. Stops and the evening starts. That's when the wind comes from. He's funny for this. I love him. Do you? I do. Okay. <laughs> you're like now I do. <laughs> no, I just I I, 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 didn't actually, know, I didn't know if that was gonna piss you off and you're gonna tell me to cut the weather segment because now you're a boss over here. You have you have say in whatever we do. If you're like eh, get rid of the weather segment, then Ryan's fired. <laughs> Imagine that one little thought from you could change the course of a, a whole <laughs> this guy's life. <laughs> his life. He won't be able to pay for acting class anymore. <laughs> oh my god! I should abuse we crush my his power. Dreams. I yeah. should abuse my power over here at Jeff. Ryan's the one who loves you the most. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. Like Oscar, sparkling water. No, imagine. No. Yeah, you should. I would never. I love everyone here. You have great employees. I'm definitely gonna start uh, leeching off them more and asking them for things. Oh but yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Please you know, do. Mike does it all the time. I love them. He's got them like sending them footage and stuff they say i have been asking for a little footage lately I was that's like, fine but <gasps> uh kyle what? what did you send a film photo of jeff and i where he put the umbrella over me to the company of the jacket he was wearing no then how do they have it oh i saw him at the chrome hearts party and uh, he asked me for it i just 
I fucked up. I edited myself so cute. Now I can't even post that version. You know, they posted it. Sorry. Oh, I'm learning. I'm learning. I can't live up to that false reality I've created to. Can we just untag and block them? <laughs> <laughs> you report them? I'm just kidding. I'm actually just kidding. I just was, I was wondering if Kyle did shit like that for you. Like I was just imagining. No, he did. He break. pissed me off when he sent this clip to Mike. He. Kyle, I'm so sorry. I Wait. actually didn't mean to get you like no, reamed no, no, no. right now. So, no, 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 no. I got I got in a bunch of shit because Mike left this clip in in a vlog of me saying some disgusting stuff that's so out of character for me. And this is what I apologize for on so Patreon on, on the live on Patreon that I did. It was more about that. It wasn't so much about you. I touched on it. I was like, look, was I acting? The truth comes was out. I acting like this yeah. was I acting a little disgusting and, and immature recently I said like if I have I apologize I'm getting back to normal I'm gonna go to church I'm gonna clean my life I up. almost went to church tonight and I almost invited you because I think that would be the funniest fucking thing for us to do <laughs> on a Wednesday like yeah church home in LA you wanna yeah, go to we church do it, next of course. Wednesday I would love to I would oh love to God. I think we should so, I love church so he had sent a clip that we were filming for a montage and he was just like yo yell at the camera like let's get this because there's gonna be music over it so I said something crazy to the camera Mike yeah. ended up getting that footage and it was just so out of character for me and he had this so he had to leave it in his main channel vlog that goes out to millions of people and i was just so fucking so i was devastated it just it's not me it was disrespectful women it's just it's not <laughs> it's not who i am and i i had to get on there and apologize to the to is the it die still hard up? my my main supporters is no it, you trimmed it out but i had to get on patreon and let the women know that this is not me it was an accident don't it won't happen again yeah oh, yeah <laughs> so it wasn't just about you. I wasn't just. I didn't just so go on there to say, you know what, fuck Tana. But I, I, <laughs> I appreciate that you came in hot at me at the beginning. I think that was a good way for you, for you to, yeah, utilize. They that give the people and, what they want to. Because yeah. if you just came on here and we didn't address it, all the comments would be like, oh, no, I, honestly, I, in that moment, I remember my only thought was like, God, the next podcast is gonna be great. Mm -hmm. David's like talking. It just sounds like like charlie brown like you know yeah. what i mean like I don't, i'm not even i'm just like it's gonna be oh crazy. yeah as you're talking about, you're just thinking dollar signs yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like when you when he got on the plane and you started vlogging it and right next to you was his assistant i didn't know yeah. so oh, embarrassing shit. so She's embarrassing like, i'm like what's up guys david dobrik's literally next to us this is my oh, other I, fuck. And I, was <laughs> like, I was like hey i was like yo I was like, yo, you see relax, shit? relax. I turned to you, I grabbed your arm, I was like, relax, Literally. relax. <laughs> like a oh real No, it's, it, it's, I have it all on camera, it's great. It's oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. It's how we end the vlog, too. It's just the last clip. David's on the same plane as us. Wait till next time. Plane yeah. crashes. <laughs> All right, today's episode is sponsored by Dadgrass. It's too nice out to be too damn high. Just because we've aged out summer break doesn't mean we don't need to chill out. Ditch the munchies, paranoia, and potency of today's weed with Dadgrass. Dadgrass is legal organic hemp that relaxes your body and mellows your mind. Dadgrass's CBD products are made with 100% organic hemp that's easy to dose and the effects come on smooth. They offer a variety of products from their token smokable pre-rolled joints as well as hemp flour and a variety of CBD tincture drops. Enjoy the effects of CBD while keeping a clear head. All Dadgrass products are federally legal for ages 18 and over and it ships right to your door anywhere in the U.S. Go to dadgrass.com slash jefffm to check out their products. Whether you're looking for a new buzz or a chill way to enjoy an old favorite, Dadgrass will leave you in a euphoric mood. Right now, Dadgrass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash jefffm. That's dadgrass.com slash jefffm. Thank you, Dadgrass. Should we do another confession segment? Yeah. Uh, do you have any lined up? Uh, yeah. Really? Oh, all right. Nice. You live to see another day. Oh, you know what else we could talk about? That scumbag fucking maniac that uh, attacked me outside of the restaurant. Yeah. Oh, okay. like, can we talk about your fight? Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that right after this confession segment. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Yo, how are ya? Hello. Welcome to Jeff FM confession segment. How you going? How are you? I'm amazing. No, sweet as, yeah. Um, my confession is, like, a few years ago, I was seeing this girl, and um, your best mate, he was um, trying to sleep with her. So Your I ended up um, having showers at his joint and just shooting loads of his shampoo. What? You were nutting in your best friend's shampoo? Damn. Because yeah, because he, he was, was trying to sleep with me, girl, so. That is fucking. I just wanted that quick smart, you know? That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's like, 
It's a little sus. Did it turn you on a little bit? No, 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 nothing like that. It's just a cool vibe. That's like spitting in someone's drink times a thousand. That's so Coming someone's in their shampoo. <laughs> that's insane. What? That's insane. Good Kinda, revenge. It's, it's weirdly yeah. hot to me. I, it's weirdly hot to me. I'm going to let you know. So did you just jerk it straight into the uh, bottle? Yeah, you have to unscrew it and just, you know, I give it a quick whip out. You know? It's all good. <laughs> oh, yeah, that made me want to throw up actually thinking about, like, imagine right now. What would you do, Jeff, if you found out, like, he was, like, fucking really pissed at you and he was coming in your shampoo? Murder, suit? suicide. Musu. Yeah, on him. A and musu, then, if you will. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking bad, bro. I, I mean, did it's, you a, ever it's tell good him? revenge, but. Did you ever tell him? Nah, nah, it's better like not knowing, do you know what I mean? It's just that sneaky little, sneaky little trick. No, but that's some funny ass shit three years later. Like, hey man, just hitting you up to let you know I came in your shampoo for a year. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking though, this is a confession. Because the other ones were kind of weak and people yeah. were commenting that. They're like, you know what, I'm going to call in with some good shit. But that's this guy, that's my favorite confession of all time so far. I 100% agree. <laughs> you nice. made my day. And the accent, you get an extra Aussie point night. for that. Yeah. I love you. 11 out of 10. You crushed it. You can come in my shampoo. So beers on me, guys, when you're down in Australia, yeah? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Tana wants to uh, sign you off there. You can come in my shampoo anytime, baby. Oh, Tana, man. I would fucking froth that shit, yeah? Froth that froth. No, you're a real babe, Tana. Thank you. Here. I love you so much. You're her type, bro. You sound like I. You sound like I'd fuck you for sure. <laughs> <laughs> love you. All right, bro. Have a good one. Thanks for calling in. Bye. Yeah, that was a good one. That's. I'm speechless. I'm what actually a, like at a loss for words. What a sick fuck, huh? That's incredible. That's some real revenge right there. That's, I know. Can you come in the shampoo of the guy who robbed me? Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely get it into a cup. Or do you shoot blanks at or... your prehistoric age? <laughs> <laughs> Go shots. I just imagine Jeff coming and it's like baby powder. Like... I'm not that fucking old. I'm in my prime. It's like a puff. I'm in. I'm in a. I'm in Thank a God man's Mike's physical here. prime. You just said prime. He would have fucking. I know. Right I know. He would have threw uh, a pop tag in it. Hit me with another confession. Uh, they yeah. didn't answer. I'm trying to get somebody else on right I now. I don't think we'll ever have a confession that good again. Actually, no. They could. They could do better than that. They could top that for sure. Damn, we should share a confession. No, because it's not anonymous. I do every week. You get shit out of me that I would never <laughs> think I'd say online. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Look, we changed the thing for you. We made it pink. For when you're here. Thank you so much. Yeah. I know we don't have a <laughs> you set have a for desk. you yet. You're still, on, you're still on the couch. Like, look, I changed my name to be pink for you, Dana. You should be very grateful. <laughs> yes. Thank yes. you so much. Thank no you, Master problem. Master. You're welcome. Hi, you're welcome. Yeah. Keep up the good work and, you know, there could be more where that came from. It could be flashing. <laughs> uh, do you want to finish the your story that you're starting about? Oh, the say? fight in New York. The fight in New York, Jeff. So you tweeted this, and I didn't want—I didn't like how you tweeted it, how you worded it. So I, I didn't. I wanna... asked him if I fucking tweeted that. Yeah, well, I was un—I was attacked. <laughs> you caught me in a compromising position. Yeah, Jamie. I was going Devil through a lot. You. I was just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But after um, looking back, so this is why I went on and I did that apology on Patreon anyway. Um, it wasn't just about <laughs> you. It wasn't just about. It was about a lot of things. You know, yeah. they saw that I, I had got twenty minutes. To, he's gonna say it was about his childhood. That's why I apologize. <laughs> like, you just keep going. Just apologizing for everything on Patreon. Yeah, yeah. I know. Really yeah. selling the Patreon, honestly. I don't. I'm not even. It was a live. No, Can I, you still watch it, Oscar? I should have the, live? the lives. Yeah, are you watching back right? I should have worded my tweet that it was self defense. Like you, it was definitely not like you picked a fight. Yeah, but that's what people think of me. They're like, oh, he's just going out and just fucking starting trouble because that's who I am. I'm from Staten Island. I didn't get a college yeah. education. This is what I do. Yeah. But it's not the case. I was walking to a nice restaurant. We were dressed nice. I had leather pants on. <laughs> and <laughs> you were wearing a dress. Yeah. Some guy says to me, what the fuck you looking at? You fucking, what do you say to me, Kyle? Oh, he you, called you a young fuck boy. He called me a young ass fuck boy. Which or I know just made your cock drop <laughs> on yeah. the low. I should have focused more on that because I wouldn't have been mad have, at first. Thank you. I was but confused. I was like, what the fuck? Are you? I started, of course, cursing back at him yeah. when I should have just been like. No, he spit on you. And you like, yeah, well, that we got to that after. Yeah. It was yeah, like maybe like a few back and forths. And then he goes, you little young ass fuck boy. And then I, I spit back, of course, yeah. you know. Your gum, but which I, I thought was so hot, honestly. I was like, yes, Yeah, right Jeff. off his forehead. Yeah. And 
now at this point it was the a position bit for I'm me in, as well. the position i'm in this i was vlogging it was a bit i didn't think this was really gonna like happen yeah and my brand new manager he's been my manager for like five days was there i was like i swear it's not always like this man <laughs> yeah it's it's not <laughs> continue i know now like not to swing first not to i mean one because people will just be looking for a fucking lawsuit or something mm. or, or whatever they want out of it. Yeah, and you don't and you don't necessarily want to do that. Like it's not good for you to like fight and shit, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. no. I mean, it's just more so. I mean, I'm an adult. Yeah, and I'm a public figure. I people, you know, I don't want to be spreading the wrong example to kids. I think it's more yeah. so not getting hit. Hit in the face. Yeah. Well, that's fine. That's what I meant. You got able to, you know, all of the above. Or, dodge the punches, yeah. and you know, I didn't, I didn't get hit. But I, usually, you want that hit first, because then I could go in and fuck in. I could go in for the kill after, you know. It's crazy. It's coming fuck out somebody a up, because it's self defense. It's crazy you know? showing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you uh, want them to fucking hit you first, so like you can. Well, yeah, you got to get that shot off first. So that's yeah. how it's got to be. If you're able to get them to swing at you first, then you could, and it's fair game, you know? Yeah, 100%. So that's that's how it went down. And and it know. was it's crazy because the entrance to catch is like you walk up all these stairs and it's like this platform and it's like no one can exit or enter except for the stairs and shit. So it was like. You know, it was funny. The second that altercation was happening, I was like, where did Tana go? I was behind a plant. She didn't have her back. It was just you and me, Jeff. <laughs> no, bro. I didn't I, ex- if you ever drop. Like if you drop someone, I would then walk out like a crazy ass wife and like like spit on him or something. But listen, the nose is fake, the teeth are fake, the lips are fake, the cheeks are fake. Everything's fucking fake. What am I gonna do? I'm not you or me involved. or both of us? Both. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh my god! That's why we're so good together. Surgery no, sorry. because sorry, because I, I was trying to look good for y'all. <laughs> um, I'm a young ass fuck boy. It was, I, I thought it was iconic. I didn't think it, that night with it within itself was just insane, Jeff. Though, yeah. like we fucking oh Mike's thumb. Yeah, you little brawl before dinner. We go sit down at dinner. I'm just trying to get you to enjoy some like wagyu, and you're yeah. like fired the fuck up. Uh-huh. And I'm like being like a little pick me. You're like this isn't you, Jeff. And it's like and I'm like no, up. it is. <laughs> I'm like I, I'm going back on the streets um, tonight. To yeah, find you wanted this guy. you wanted to go back. You wanted to so badly leave yeah. that restaurant and. Go go find that man and i was like please don't do that and then we went to tao and mike had a dinner with his mm-hmm. um brothel of women about at, 20 girls with him and he wanted to do a haircut at the table which is so mike and i love it <laughs> so of course i'm down you know what you're saying so then we go right next door and i crack the blade i get mike a fresh blade so we're sanitary as i'm giving him the haircut at a dinner table with food yeah. all over i give him the other half of the blade because i don't want to put it on the table for somebody to cut themselves you know they grab it by accident the waiter maybe cuts themselves yeah but he doesn't realize what was it his anxiety or he was just you know nervous he starts messing with yeah. the thing i do uh, that fidgeting. i do that yeah. naturally as well like anything like you have a gum like wrapper you yeah, like, like crumple it. With it yeah, yeah i do it too so he did that with the blade in it, and it sli- almost sliced his whole fucking thumb and off. And I really thought it was just dramatics at first. He's like, Kyle, go get me a first aid kit, like all this shit. And I was like, I thought it was dramatics. And then I just looked down, and Mike Malak's blood mm-hmm. is all over me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Like, and we're at Tao. We are at a five star fucking restaurant. Blood death. And there's just <laughs> girls everywhere. And I was just like, oh my God. I never thought in any situation, if Mike's blood ever ended up on me for any reason, that that would be how. And then he went to the hospital. And in the meantime, we stole his 20 bitches. <laughs> and then, oh my God. Um, while he, and then we went to a sex club where people were shitting on each other on stage. And it just what and what well, you were night. hosting an event there. I was hosting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just stroll into a sex club. I was tagging along to support you. I was hosting, which I don't even know what <laughs> what hosting means. I, hosting is such a weird job, but then it's like they just want up. me to be there. Like yeah, you know I mean? yeah. Just so there. I was in attendance. I, and then Mike showed up. He showed up there. He, he showed up he back with back. a cast on, which is a very G move. And everything else after that, I don't think you or I should talk about on the internet. But it was. It was a night. We definitely had a very eventful night. And the rest of the trip kind of followed that. Because that was our first night out, no? Yeah. And the I, rest of the I'll trip be honest, followed that, that, too. That kind of got me off to like a weird start with that place. A I very was, chaotic I wasn't a, a big fan of that place, especially because I'm sober. And that's like a really wacky like New York club where people 
they have like weird performances. Do fucked up shit. Yeah, like, the guys on stage sure. will take. Sh- they like get completely naked and they'll shit oh God, in their hands so and bizarre. fling it at the audience. Yo, Diplo apparently was there and like downstairs and got shit flung onto him. How is that even legal? That's how you get pink eye. You get shit in your eye. Like if someone else's literal fecal matter was on me, I would, I would like, <laughs> I would commit musu. Musu. And the sick part is the lines out the door. You can't oh, get in. It, it was tough for us. To get in. You were hosting. It. It, it took us like a few minutes. People to get in. absolutely love the box. I honestly, I mean, I'm a feral fucking street rat. I love that place. It's incredible. It's so fun. Um, it's. I think everybody needs to go to the box in London or New York City one time in their life. Yeah. It is. Um, yeah, people say, they, they'll they ask me, like, how do you have fun when you're out and you're sober? And I'm like, <laughs> like what I do don't. you mean? I, no, I do. I, I Wait, have, did you watch any of this? I have just as much fun, but that place, yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That place was like, yeah, I just have just as much fun as everybody else. Not there. <laughs> Not, Not with shit flying. <laughs> I'm fucking dodging shit. Oh, my God. It was incredible. I Human feces just... But it, it definitely, that set the that night set the precedent for the rest of our trip for sure. Like it just Fashion Week is just a really big excuse for people to be wild too. Like I feel like online it looks like it's like this aesthetic everyone's attending shows. Like no, everyone's blacked out in New York City being awful. You know. Yeah. Well, at least I'm immune to whatever virus I got now. You know, that's good. <laughs> Congratulations. It's, it was a productive trip. I had a great time. I'm so excited for our vlogs. We're about to go edit them together. We're like a little mm-hmm. YouTuber duo right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, next trip is going to be to like Joshua Tree to drink green juice and hike or Ooh, something. Ooh, I like the No, Kentucky of that. horses for sure. Yeah, yeah, anything. I'm eating all the Wittics. I'm um, for anything. Any other call or confessions uh, somebody want to hit up? Uh, want to call a Tana <laughs> fan and see their opinion on. You got to get out? Yeah, I, I think we crushed it. Yeah, that I idea, think. We yeah, I don't think we need anything else, honestly. Another um, one in the books. Another yeah. Jeff FM episode with pink lighting. Now, thank God. How do we wrap it up? Do you do you like my hair? <laughs> <laughs> Does it look good? I love it. Actually, actually, yeah. Yeah. I actually really like, you look like younger, like nicer, like, like a young ass like fuck boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm back, baby. Bye, guys. It's I love 2018 you. all over Stan, again. Stan, Jeff, no more David. <laughs>